Warning lights are on for top-end aviation companies as the fallout from the collapse of Darwin-based Vincent Aviation continues. It's still not certain whether a downturn in the fly-in, fly-out work or the company's business model is to blame, but as many as 120 people are now out of a job. In the slipstream of Darwin-based Vincent Aviation's crash into receivership, everyone, especially the government, is searching for answers. Um, there is, uh, there's a good market out there. Uh, there are plenty of uh, people to get on these planes, so we don't exactly know what's caused the administrators to move in. The receiver's accounting firm, BDO, yesterday said a number of factors contributed to the collapse, including market conditions. The Transport Minister says he's not aware of any downturn in the Territory's fly-in, fly-out market. I don't know that. I don't have that information yet. Uh, that would be pure speculation. Uh, so until we actually get more information from the administrators, uh, we can't actually make any of those sort of judgments. That hasn't stopped Territory Labor launching an attack on government spending cuts. The opposition leader claims cutbacks in remote public services have contributed to the company's failure. No doubt the uh, spotlight is on Vincent Aviation's own business model, but when you've got a reduction in public servants travelling, it's not going to help. There is some discrepancy over the number of exact jobs lost. The real figure is somewhere between 124 and 80. But what's for certain is there are several contracts that will need to be serviced. And it's not going to be just as simple as someone else swooping in to pick up the slack. Pearl Aviation and Hardy Aviation are reported to have several 19-seater aircraft available to fill the void. But they may be unsuitable for some of the small remote runways Vincent was servicing. It's also understood Vincent Aviation was sending planes interstate at a huge cost to be serviced due to a lack of space at their Darwin hangar. You know, with every piece of adversity comes an opportunity. Uh, we feel for those employees at Vincent. Uh, we're sure that other airlines will come in and try and protect the interests of those employees. Darwin Airport refused to comment on the collapse. Lincoln.